Number 20. Why are astronauts in space said to be weightless, but not massless? So this question is kind of like a physics question. And by the way, if you guys are in physics, check out our OpenStax College Physics Solution Manual. My brother Andrew is doing that one. So go check that out. Um, He's got tons of answers for you you guys, but that's besides the point. We have to just figure out why astronauts are said to be weightless, but not massless. So there's a formula for this. In physics, the formula is W equals mg. W stands for weight. M stands for mass. And G is the acceleration. So I'll just say excel due to gravity. Okay. Now here, this formula and how much a person weighs is directly proportional to someone's acceleration due to gravity. So it all depends on where that person is in the universe. So for example, Earth's acceleration due to gravity, so Earth's G is roughly 9.81 grams per, ooh, not grams, meters per second squared. Now, technically, since gravity is always pulling us downward, usually sometimes it's represented as a negative 9.8, but don't worry about that. Just know that it's 9.81. But now, if we take a trip and we go to the moon, which is technically somewhere in space, the G, the acceleration due to gravity on the moon, is not zero like they think that it is in the movies. Gravity is everywhere. So for this one, the moon's acceleration due to gravity is 1.62 meters per second squared. So there is gravity all over, but it's just not as much as on the Earth. It could be more, could be less, but for the moon, it's much less from 9.81 all the way down to 1.62. That's basically cutting gravity by one-sixth, roughly. So that's why if you have a G value... On Earth, your weight is going to be a higher number because the gravity number, the acceleration due to gravity, is much higher. So on Earth, I'll say Earth weight is a higher number because G is also a higher number. But in space, and in this example we talked about the moon, our weight would be much lower because in space and on the moon, acceleration due to gravity is much lower number. So if you times by a higher number here, obviously the weight is going to be higher. But if you multiply by a lower number for your acceleration due to gravity, your weight is going to be a lower number. But the key thing here is that look at this M. This M, which stands for mass, and the SI unit for mass is in kilograms, so you weigh something out um, on a balance. Everything that is an object has matter, has a mass. This mass does not change. The only thing that is directly proportional is gravity and weight, but the mass... Your mass would be the same whether you're on Earth or whether you're in space, whether you're on the moon. So that's why astronauts in space are said to be weightless, but not massless, because mass is constant no matter where you are. Weight, however, because of that formula, weight is proportional. So I'll say W is proportional proportional to G, gravity. Mass, on the other hand, is not proportional. It's not linked to gravity. So that's why wherever you go, you'll still have the same amount of mass. However, you will not have the same weight. All right, guys, I hope this helped out a lot. If it did, please hit that subscribe button. I would thank you a lot for that. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye now.